Right now, we're going to talk about cloud computing. It's definitely a growth area in this country, and Bulletproof Networks is set to become Australia's first listed cloud service company. The business getting ASX approval to reverse list using Spencer Resources. The CEO, Anthony Woodworth, joins me in the Sky News Business Centre right now. Anthony, welcome to the program today. Thanks for making time for us. Can you tell us, um, firstly, a bit about Bulletproof Networks, how you got started and what services you offer? Yes, so Bulletproof Networks focuses on managed services, which is, uh, the focus is on allowing businesses to do what they do for a living, while we focus on the underlying infrastructure that lets them do that. So you guys tend to focus a lot on, on the cloud space, though. Looking at your website, I see a lot about VMware and, and uh, Amazon uh, virtual solutions. So it's that kind of space that you play in? That's correct. In 2006, uh, we launched a, a cloud platform that was one of the first in Australia, and that was based on the VMware platform. Um, we've been building that platform for a number of years, and we have some quite good cornerstone clients on that platform, such as Movember. Now, take us through some of these clients, because a few people I've talked to say, for, for a company of your size, you've got, you've got a pretty good list there. Yes, yeah, so uh, I mentioned Movember. Uh, they, they have a global business that they've built out of Australia, and we've hosted their underlying infrastructure all the way through that particular growth curve. Uh, Blue Scope Steel is another business that we've worked with for many years. Um, Australian Olympic Committee that uh, you can understand has some quite, quite high workloads a couple of times every, every two years. So really the focus for us is on customers that uh, for which their underlying infrastructure as, as far as cloud is concerned is critical to their business and that's what we focus on. Is, is there a sense of a time limit on this business in the sense that once someone's moved to the cloud your services are less required? No, because our model is ongoing managed services. So we partner with uh, the customer and with the underlying cloud platform mm -hmm. in order to deliver an ongoing service that stays up and delivers what they need for their business. And what we've seen at Bulletproof is that customers are now starting to move from early adopter phase and into uh, early majority phase. What that means is most businesses are now looking at cloud as a way forward. Mm. Tell us about your reasons for listing because going public is always a bit of a risk. You must have done the, the sums and thought we can get something out of this. What are your reasons for going now? There's a number of reasons uh, but the main one is that uh, as, I, as I alluded to the cloud services industry is going through a big transformation in Australia right now and we think that presents a really significant opportunity and the listing gives us the ability to be best positioned to take advantage of that opportunity. So uh, different parts of that opportunity include rapid growth and they also include increasing service. The extra funds you'll get though, are they, are they going to be used to uh, acquire different companies, to, to build a business, what are you going to do with the cash? We don't have any acquisition plans at this time, but the main focus is uh, it'll allow us to, with a strengthened balance sheet, be able to improve our service levels and increase our rate of, of new product releases, which is what we've tended to do as a leader in this space. Now Anthony, one of the um, slightly unusual things about this that I noticed is you're not listing uh, straight, if you like, you're not um, just floating the company, you're using this reverse listing through a company called um, Spencer Resources, SPA. Why did you go down that path and, and not just list bulletproofs um, straight up, if you like? Because the business has been running for uh, 13 years and Bulletproof is a cash flow positive, profitable business. So we don't have a requirement to raise a great deal of capital. And what we really needed in order to uh, become listed were a number of key components, one of which is shareholder spread. And a, an already listed uh, organisation comes with that ready-made shareholder spread. And hopefully we can bring up a chart for our viewers now of SPA and you can have a look at what that announcement has done to the company's share price once you, once you did in fact say you were going to use that vehicle. This still has to be approved by your shareholders, I understand. How, how confident are you of, of getting that kind of approval? Um, I can't speak to, to the outcome of the meeting, but the, the shareholder meeting will be about mid-December and, and then there'll be a submission made to the ASX to go through a full recompliance process, which is just as rigorous as if we had done a, a full listing. Right, OK. Now, Anthony, looking ahead, uh, you said cloud is a growth area, and sure. that's true. Do you see yourself moving and expanding into other areas, or is it simply focusing on cloud as an area of growth for some time to come? 
at this stage, with, with the, the growth curve really being at the early stage of moving from early adopter to early majority, we think there's a great deal of growth to come in this particular market. And uh, we're focusing on that mission critical managed end of the market. And for our, from our perspective, there's still a great deal of opportunity there. What differentiates you, though, from other people playing in this similar space? So uh, probably one of the most significant parts of our business has been the amount that we uh, spend on uh, innovating and building product sets and continuing to increase the ability of our service to uh, improve the business of our customers. And because we have a lot of experience in that area, we think that sets us apart from many of the others. Are you hoping to emulate Freelancer? I'm not sure whether, whether it can be emulated or whether it should be emulated, but uh, we'll leave that to, to the market to decide. Anthony, thanks for your time today. Great. Thanks for having me.